So tell us a little bit of why the foundation decided to get involved in this uh, vaccine. Sure. Um, you know, it's, it, it wasn't difficult. It's two big things. It's the health and well-being of Rhode Islanders. And that comes from more people getting vaccinated to protect them, protect everybody else. Uh, it helps the economy because people can then get out and do commerce. And then, as the governor pointed out, uh, it helps the nonprofit organizations. And this is not going to organizations for their specific use. It's going to help people in need. So these are going to food pantries and to health clinics and people helping those who are homeless. And they've been doing it. These nonprofits, we've been giving out grants, as has the state for the last year and a half, unfortunately, because they're providing direct on the ground. These are the heroes out there. These small nonprofits are the boots on the ground doing the work. So we help the health and well-being, we help the economy, and we help the nonprofits. It was an easy decision. So the foundation giving a quarter million. Mm -hmm. um, yes. If there's a big demand, will that well, we never say never. Um, we also have other programs, so it might be possible that a nonprofit would apply for a grant, maybe not be in the first round, and we might have other programs. But we'll do everything we can to help as many as we can. As you know, it builds up. So it's the first 10 grants, and then it builds up over time. So we'll see over time. But I'm sure, inevitably, we will get more applications than the dollars. Right. Right. So we're going to, uh, this afternoon, we'll send out a blast to the, most of the nonprofits in the state, to the ones that we've given COVID grants before. Uh, so they'll know about it, and then they apply. And we know where the hardest hit areas are, the Central Falls, the Woonsockets, the parts of the state. And we hope that also these nonprofits will encourage people, like in Woonsocket, like in Central Falls and other parts, to get the vaccination. They have day-to-day -day contact with these people much more than we all do, and they're the ones who can help incent it. We, we're not claiming that this is the only solution. We think it will appeal to some Rhode Islanders, and that's enough. We want to, we all know that nationwide, there's a decline on a weekly basis in the percentage of individuals seeking vaccination. We want to decrease that decline. We want to keep people going for vaccinations as much as we can. We think every little bit helps. And the fact is that many Rhode Islanders do want to contribute to their community and will recognize that if causes that will assist needy Rhode Islanders, vulnerable Rhode Islanders can be helped. And in fact, many, many Rhode Islanders have gone and sought vaccination and it's been safe. This is a good combination of factors and it, and it may get to some Rhode Islanders who've been reluctant to date.